Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss nine reasons why dressing down is overrated. Recently, my wife showed me a post about 10 things why dressing up is overrated. And if you're a regular follower of this channel, you probably know that I would not agree with that statement. That being said, I do dress down on occasion, which means I dress less formally than I usually do. The basic arguments in that article were that one, it costs money, and that two, it wastes time, and three, that it panders to what other people think of you rather than what you think of yourself. Now, first, let me say that I think there is real value in not caring what other people think of you, because oftentimes it can just cloud your judgment and you just live for other people rather than yourself. That being said, there is a limited usefulness to that attitude. Men's Warehouse did a survey and almost three out of four men felt that they're underdressed all the time. If you're in that state of mind where you're not dressed up to the par, you simply lack a certain element of confidence. Being confident is a very important factor of how you're perceived how people think of you and ultimately where you end up in life. The truth is we live in society, we don't live in a vacuum just for ourselves and the way you dress and the way you appear to others has a huge impact whether you want it or not. The truth is also that it does cost some money to dress up. That being said, dressing up can be a lot less expensive than you might think and I strongly suggest you check out this video on 15 things you can do to dress like a gentleman on a budget. Even if you do have to spend a little more, it really pays to look at it more of an investment rather than an expense. So why would paying money for clothes be considered an investment? Well, if you get a classic wardrobe that you can wear for many years to come, the cost per wear is very little. At the same time, when people see you and they think of you more highly, they respect you more and they deem you more competent, it will have a direct impact on your paycheck. Now, without further ado, here are the nine reasons why being underdressed is overrated. Number one, people won't take you as seriously. As a consequence, you won't take yourself as seriously and you will think that you can't achieve certain things even though you could do them. No matter the situation, dressing well gives you an air of authority and that usually means dressing up. Yale conducted an interesting study of mock real estate negotiations. They had men dressed up, dressed neutral, and dressed down. The men who dressed down felt at a disadvantage from the get-go. Ultimately, they lost more money and deferred more money to the people who were better dressed. Interestingly, the well-dressed men sensed this insecurity and they were less likely to budge. They maintained their position and they walked away with a much better position than the people who were dressed down or dressed neutrally. Interestingly, the professor of that study noted that animals respond to signals of dominance. And for humans, it certainly is the business suit. Now you may argue that some of the richest men in the world are extremely dressed down, such as Mark Zuckerberg. At the same time, when Mark Zuckerberg appears or when an article is written about it, oftentimes people refer to the fact that he's dressed down a lot. So it almost taints his accomplishment in a certain way. Even if that's not the case, it's a distraction at the least. And at the last congressional hearing, he showed up in a suit, people noticed, and it was a signal that said, I'm taking this very seriously. So by dressing up, you can purvey this kind of message that you respect others, and in turn, they will respect you more. The second reason why dressing down is overrated is because people who dress up make more money over the course of their career. Just think about it. If your boss doesn't take you seriously and if he doesn't respect your work, why would he promote you? Even if you don't believe the studies and think that the workplace has changed, 75% of men think that their well-dressed counterparts are more successful in their jobs. Three, you will look less attractive. You can't change your physical features aside from working out. And even if you work out, the fact remains that if you wear a suit or if you dress up, if you dress well, you will always look better than the equivalent person in a t-shirt and sweatpants. So yes, it's true. Most people would probably argue that Daniel Craig in a t-shirt looks better than I do in a suit. 
and they're quite right. At the same time, I'm arguing that Daniel Craig in a suit would look even better than Daniel Craig in a t-shirt. Also, the good thing is you can take action and change your clothes and it will likely be a lot quicker than changing your bodily physique. And if that isn't enough for you, 78% of the women surveyed said that they prefer men who dress well. Dressing down may keep you from doing things. Sometimes when you're in sweatpants and your t-shirt, you don't feel it's appropriate to go out on the street, so you just stay in, hang out on the couch, order pizza, and watch Netflix. In my opinion, your clothes shouldn't hold you back, they should help you move forward. And honestly, these days, all it takes is a pair of chinos, a dress shirt, nice leather shoes, and you're probably prepared for most of the situations out there. Now, if you even wanna put on a sport coat or a blazer, you're better dressed than 90% of the men you'll encounter. Five, dressing down makes you look lazy. Yes, it's easy and cheap to buy a pair of t-shirts and sweatpants. At the same time, that's exactly the message you communicate. I'm cheap and lazy. Six, what you wear isn't just about you. Tom Ford once said that dressing well is a form of good manners. And if you think about it, it's a form of showing respect to others. It's a form that you show respect for the event you're at. And in turn, you will earn more respect from others for that. Just the other day, I read a comment from one of our YouTube viewers, and he said that he was never as embarrassed before as when he had a business event with a coworker, and the coworker showed up in a sports jersey that was way too tight with a deep cutout, and he just felt so embarrassed. That probably had an impact on how he approached this meeting, and I'm certain he could have achieved more if his colleague would have dressed up more. So whenever there is a dress code and you disregard it and dress down, it's a sign of disrespect. And not having those particular clothes is not a real good excuse because you could even rent a tuxedo if the dress code is black tie or get an inexpensive one and put in a little effort. The seventh reason dressing down is overrated is because dressing well actually makes you feel more confident and powerful and in turn that leads to you doing things that you otherwise might not have done if you were dressed down. It could be things like asking your boss for that race or asking out that woman that you have a crush on. Putting on a nice suit has an effect on your posture, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look and the way you interact. And who wouldn't want to feel more confident and powerful? The eighth reason is Dressing down can cost more in the long run. Yes, t-shirts are inexpensive and so are sweatpants. At the same time, they're usually made of low quality materials and so they wear out a lot more. That means you have to invest more time to go to the mall or to shop online. And if you value your time as well as the natural resources, dressing down and dressing cheaply is really not that cheap in the long run. Ultimately, you will just keep spending more and more money and it's like a slot machine in Vegas. At the same time, you always look crappy. On the flip side, if you invest in a nice pair of shoes and you can resole it and wear it for 15 or 20 years down the line, you probably spend less if you consider the cost per wear of your shoes. Nine, last but not least, you never know who you're going to meet. A couple of years ago, I was on an airplane flight, and when I travel, I always try to dress well. That means I wear a jacket, I wear some chinos, some leather shoes, I wear a bow tie or a regular tie, and that really makes me better dressed than 99.9% .9 of people who fly. So it just turned out I was sitting next to a US bank executive. We were talking, I was telling him that I had a business and that I was banking with US bank, and recently I had applied for a credit line and they thought they could only give me $30,000. Two days later, I received an email from him and I had a credit line for $100,000 and my banker called me up and was like, wow, how did you do that? And all it took was being well-dressed, sitting to the right person at the right time who looked at me and respected me and thought highly of me and believed that I was worth a credit line of $100,000. Now, that's not something you can plan for, but ultimately, if you're dressed up regularly, chances of you encountering situations where it will be to your advantage are much higher than if you just show up in sweatpants and a hoodie. So in summary, dressing down makes you feel less confident, makes you feel less powerful, 
and it will earn you less money over the course of your career. It also doesn't make you look intelligent or successful, and as a consequence, people respect you less and think of you less highly. Yes, it is true, dressing down may cost you less, but compared to the earning potential of dressing up and the cost per wear, it actually may hurt your wallet. In today's video, I'm wearing a casual suit, which is an oxymoron for most people. However, it's a flannel suit, it's not a business suit, it has a small houndstooth pattern, and I combine it with a contrasting purplish red vest with gold buttons. It matches well with my green tie that has stripes, which is made out of a shantung silk, and picks up the colors and ties it all together. My pocket square is red and matches the waistcoat, and it's not too ostentatious. My socks are shadow striped brown and green and pick up the tones of my tie, as well as the suit and my shoes. They also provide a little bit of contrast between the pants and my medium brown derby shoes. And overall, it's a combination that I would wear when other people would probably wear a sport coat and chinos. Having an extra edge always helped me to stand out, and people often approach me that I otherwise wouldn't approach, and most of the times, good things come of it. The shirt is an off-white dress shirt with double cuffs, and I have some monkey fist cufflinks in gold, which is warm and goes well with the warm color tones in the rest of my outfit. My ring matches my cufflinks, and it has a nice star sapphire stone, which looks really cool when you have a light source come onto it. If you enjoyed this video, I suggest you subscribe to our channel so stuff like this comes right to your inbox.